tardes, Irenas, High Kings and Queens. I wanted to go live real quick. Yes, I look a little busted. I look a little... I've gone live. I've gone to the gym and um, having reflecting moments today. Uh, so I am a hairstylist part part time um, for a company that the Lord has assigned me to. I'm going to tell you something. So yesterday they asked me if I was willing to go and serve someone, right? Um, with my hair styling um talents anointings um skills that the lord has blessed me with because i've been doing hair for a very long time makeup you know and people ask me well, what is it that you do and i'm like um i save the world and in this season the lord has assigned me to different things um of course there's top priority top notch priority <laughs> and then there's some that i get you know i do them when god calls me to if my schedule aligns with it because what's priority right now is my devotionals motivational speaking but i wanted to share something today because the lord assigned me to do something and it's my birthday and i was like what's my birthday lord i'm gonna take i was literally making excuses right because i was like i'm gonna take time to reflect and have my moments with you lord and i'm not gonna do anything that you know that is gonna take away from that lord however <laughs> the lord convicted me because i was assigned something and i almost had the opportunity to get out of it my lip liner is crooked and it's bothering me. I'm having an OCD moment. I'm sorry. Um, and so he assigned me to go serve someone. I didn't know who this person was. But there was a heavy calling and conviction that was directing me to go to do this job. I could have gotten out of it. And I was like, well, it's my birthday. I'm going to spend time with you, Lord. Excusing, you know, uh, abandoning that assignment. However, I was going to start to mumble and complain after my gym class because I had to haul it to the appointment right i don't know if i got lipstick here um however i came you know i was right on time i wasn't like 15 minutes early i was right on time and i strode in and the person was like oh hi you know nice to meet you it, you know immediately started asking me questions what is it that i do you know who was i who sent me you know all these questions she was just very interested in knowing who i was and i shampooed her gave her a blowout massaged her she wasn't from here she was from florida and in the middle of that serving hi hi queen in the middle of serving i wanted to grumble and complain well i didn't want to something inside of me wanted to grumble and complain because i was like i'm on my birthday but the lord revealed to me that the greatest gift that i can receive on my birthday or any day is the gift of an opportunity to gift someone else to serve someone else and as I was talking with this person, I gave them a word that the Lord sent me. And, you know, I told them, you're, I don't know who you are, where you're from, who sent you. <laughs> but the Lord had me on assignment to be here today, to prioritize, put everything else aside and prioritize you. I don't know what that person needed. But that person was so relieved, so thankful, asking for my card. How could they stay connected to me? What is it that I do? I started telling them I do devotions. She was telling me how she was here for convection, com, com, a convention of medical, a medical convention and how she had her own business um, in Tampa and how she was here for a convention and someone had gave a motivational speech and she was like, I would like to connect you with them because I think like you right now just gave me a word. She's like, I'm sitting in your chair and you're telling me that you speak and you know how, what you do and I was thinking to myself, wow, like I had no idea who I was coming to meet. On top of that, she gave me some cash. And I was like, oh, thank you. You know, I never really get cash tips. It's always like cut in the check of the company that I work for. And I, I work for this company because I believe in them. They are generous in the sense of with their time. They give you a card for your birthday with everyone signing it. They mail it to you. I just really believe in this company. And I know what it is to be a struggling salon in San Antonio. So I want to gift them and help them. But in the same area, they have blessed me tremendously, this company. And I will tell you, don't work for people that you don't believe in. If you're grumbling and complaining going to your career or where God has called you to serve and you just don't want to serve because you're looking at it as an obstacle rather than opportunity. Uh, if you don't believe in it, don't do it. If you're talking badly about your career, your job, your company, your boss, that's not cool. That's not cool. I always say, if you're complaining, don't work there if you don't believe in them because you're not going to do good by them. That's a whole other video. But I wanted to tell you this. When she gave me my tip, you know, it was $50 tip for a blowout, a basic blowout. Um, 
when she gave me that like i was just like thank you so much and she was like so thankful that i came in because they told her that i'm on call and i'm telling you they call me in the most ra randomest times and i drop everything and i go because the lord has called me make that a priority and as today is my birthday um I'm just so thankful that I have the opportunity to share God's word that I'm entrusted. And um, I think that is the greatest gift is to serve. And I'm going to tell you that your calling is not going to stop calling you. Make priority where God prompts you. He's going to prompt you. You pray and you're requesting things. God's requesting things from you too. Do you Are you joyously serving people? Are you letting these appointments interrupt your day? Because these interruptions are divine appointments by God. This person was so thankful for me and I was so thankful for them. It didn't start off thankful because I was like, I don't really want to go do it. But I'm going to go, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. So whoever this is for, you don't know what God has in these opportunities that seem like obstacles. Don't fear them. Faith them. If you're doing it fearfully, do it anointed. You were called for such a time as this. You got skills, you got talents, you got anointing. I'm going to tell you, the doors have been open for my cosmetology license. Doors have been open from where I speak in the devotionals. Doors have been open simply because I'm like, use me, Lord. I don't know where, what, who, or how he's going to use me, but I'm up for it. Am I up for the challenge all the time? No. But I'm going to tell you that your greatest blessings, the answers to your prayers, your solutions are in things that he prompts you to do and you're gonna they're gonna look heavy they're gonna yesterday i went to do something with my daughter and you know i told her let's pray and the finances didn't look like what we needed to work for but i was like you know what we're gonna labor in love for the lord the lord is gonna provide and and monetary may not come it may not look like what you're worth it may not look like what you think you're a value but when you put the lord first and you don't think about the finances. You don't think about what you're going to receive. You're thinking about what gift can I be? Oh, that is when the Lord uses you because he can trust you. He knows that money ain't going to motivate you. He needs for you to be motivated simply because you love him and you honor him and your actions reflect it. Is it easy? No. This queen had to figure it out, but I'm glad that I figured it out and I recognize that finances are finances and they're great they make us comfortable they give us they buy us experiences but if you knew what the blood of jesus could buy you if you knew saying yes to god and saying no to your selfish things that you need if you need something give more of it what you're willing to give freely mm, mm, mm. god will make it rain in your life so i don't know who this is for today your queen here had to go and serve on her birthday. And she was thinking like, oh, I just wanted to take some time to reflect. I was trying to use every excuse in the book. I was already trying to tell God, I'm just trying to spend time with you. So you would excuse that, right? Like, I don't have to go do it. And there was there was no, like, the Lord was just like, that's literally what, what I felt in the spirit was, okay, you do you. No, I'm going to do the Lord. I'm going I'm to create for the Lord because I was created to create. I don't know who this is for. Maybe you're struggling financially. Maybe you're struggling emotionally. Maybe you're struggling to be mature maybe you're having a pity party whatever it is i pray and i'm in agreement that the lord's gonna make it happen he works when you work so god bless you kings and queens i'm praying for you i'm in agreement if you grumble grumble and complain at the beginning it's okay when you get to where you're at you're gonna learn that i ain't gonna grumble and complain no more because literally i was just like i don't want to go do it i think my daughter told me you're gonna go <laughs> i was like i gotta go Cause it's God and when it's God I don't play I don't play because if I don't go do it I will have conviction all day like for the rest of the month it's like seriously and then I'm thinking well I'm praying for something it was probably in that area where God told me to go and I didn't want to go walk on water get, get throw your net the other way try listening to the Lord not to money so God bless you kings and queens thank you for your time today I know that um God is at work you're created to create you're not always going to create monetary. The Lord, take delight in him and the money will find you. The finances will find you. The fiance will find you. The funding will find you. Uh, today, one of my, the, well, the client told me, you know, God, you would be so great to be speaking. She had listened to something. She was like, you'd be so great, you know, speaking like you should get in connection with these people. And I was like, I know right now I'm creating, I'm building. And I know that these things will find me. When God says it's time, they will find me. So just like that. Take delight in the Lord and these things will be attracted to you. Those obstacles are opportunities 
for doors to open for you. Are you doing them with grumbling and complaining? Or are you doing them with joy? Because remember, joy is the strength of the Lord. God bless you, kings and queens. I'll see y'all tomorrow for the devotion. I was going to wait to bring it to you for the devotional, but God was like, public, public service announcement. How Callings will keep calling. How much service do you got in your servitude? So God bless you, kings and queens. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thank you for your time invested, queens. I pray that it's advanced you and blessed you. And I pray this gives you a great activation to say yes when God's calling you to say yes and to say no when God's telling you no. Be Say no. Be in alignment. Be in agreement. Surrender selflessly, not selfishly. God bless you. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>